deadly 450, buddy. But I've already paid the fare. You've already paid the fare. And I gave you an excellent tip. You are a perfect passenger in all respects. In the future, one out of every six people will be Abraham Lincoln. Where's our bucket of golden delicious fishes? Hey, we ordered an hour ago. Ah, bucket of fishes! Baby? What? I can't hear you! Uh, comes with instructions. Uh, please take care of my dear, sweet child. I know that you are good, kind men who can protect him from a cruel world filled with bad things. Signed, the baby's mother. <laughs> oh, Arthur! Bucket of fishes! Oh, hi, sir, madam. I'm clammy from Bucket of Fishes. Your wish is our fish. Okay, that's one bucket of fish and a side of... <gasps> oh, ball guy in diapers! Yes, isn't he the cutest little thing? <laughs> Baby. Cute, cute baby. Take the money. Take the fish. <laughs> Arthur, we're a daddy. Ha! I've hypnotized those dupes into believing I'm an adorable little baby. Now I have only to assemble the device and... Baby hungry. Want some numbers? Yes, you just park your diaper right here, little man. Papa's got a brand new bag of fish. Yes, now we've got all the protein we need right here. All we've got to do is just gush it up. <laughs> Hello? Minda, it's me. Now, why are you calling me? I have told you a thousand times I have had it with all that crime. I am tired of being arrested. After all, babies are just little people. Minus the teeth. I don't want to dominate the world anymore. I've got a real job. Can it, Minda? I'm in big trouble here. I'm hiding out at the Tick's apartment, and I need your help now. The Tick? How do you lost your mind? You don't understand. It's the only one who can protect me from the... No, no, no. <laughs> Not for baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, what you need is fresh fauna from the seafloor, mashed into a tasty paste. Yum, yum. Ooh, here comes the dump truck backing up. Mmm. <laughs> And we're dumping! I don't want your crummy food or your freaky love! Mr. Mental! Mr. Mental! My. Mr. 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 M. Now I know you're angry, it's only natural. Let's just review the downside. Mr. Mental did escape, and he did steal the prototype and the blueprint for your greatest invention. Upside, you're Julius Pendecker. You're a genius. And I'll bet you there's plenty more where that came from, mister. I won't come into the free man 
I know what you're thinking. Power up the robot, storm the city, burn it to its foundations until we find that glorified spoonbender! But that spells public relations disaster. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't know about that. So, why don't you relax and let me and the boys handle this one quietly? Oh, man, what a beautiful day! Everything seems so much brighter through the corrective lenses of fatherhood. Uh, Tick, there's something about this kid that isn't right. Uh, I, I had it once. It began with an, an M. Moom. What are you talking me, about, man? My. We've got abnormal psychic activity coming from the park. Getting stronger. I just don't know about this baby, Tick. I mean, he's adorable and everything, but, you know, I can't help feeling that there's something wrong. I, I, I just don't know if I'm ready to be a, a co-parent. <gasps> you people are sick! Okay, man. Each of you has been equipped with an experimental Pendecker Series 4 holograph projector lens. When activated, it will cloak you in a three-dimensional image. In other words, people will see what we want them to see. Cool. What do we get to be? Rampaging thunder lizards? Giant metal insects? Yeah, or, uh, or Dracula? Set your belts for Dingo. Let's not make a scene. You know what we want. Talking dingoes! <laughs> Fight, son! Daddy's coming! Uh, Chuck, we got a belt malfunction here. I'm busy right now! Come on, Mental, give her the device! Oh, easy, boy! Nice doggy! Dingo, sorry! Nobody falls the tick sidekick! And nobody touches the tick's baby! Ever! Pull out! Back to the lab! That's right, Dingo Man Dingoes! You messed with the wrong family. Tick! The baby! The baby's gone! Baby! Minda! Minda! Captain Sanity Superhero Sanitarium, what's your problem? Oh, I'm sorry. Captain Sanity is out of the office right now. Minda! Minda! Oh, Mel, quit the theatrics. I told you never to call me here. Minda, you will go down to the City Cab Company. There, you will ask for their lost and found. You will retrieve the silver briefcase. I am trying to work here, Mel. Minda, I command you to see what I've seen, to know what I know. <sighs> All right, make it quick. <laughs> I've been held prisoner in Julius Pendecker's underground lab for months. His revenge for my daring theft of his thinking cap. Using my powerful mind as the lab rat for his experiments, he created an extraordinary device which, when combined with my extraordinary psychic abilities, produces mental plasm. Captain Sanity Superhero Sanitarium? Certainly. Let me check his appointments. What you put me on hold? Baby! 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 Oh, Tika, I'm sure he just wandered off. We'll split up. I'll take to the air. Yeah. All right. That's bipolar bear with hyphen or just one word. Fine. Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Will you let me finish? Mental plasma! The substance of psychic energy. Thought made flesh, and I wrought it with my own mind. It was a slave to my will, just as I was a slave to Pendecker's. I broke out last night, Minder, and took the device with me. Now I need it to get out of this mess. I can't play baby for much longer, baby. Oh, uh, all right. 
I'll pick your thing up after work. But that's it, Mel. No more letters, no more calls, no more disembodied heads popping up at the office. Baby? Oh, shh. No, 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 no. Don't be frightened. It's me, Arthur. Listen, you doughy wretch. When I feel like some strained peaches, I'll call you. Until then, stay out of my way! Arthur? Arthur, you found him! Good co-dad! Oh. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Woo. Fighting upset baby's little tummy, huh? Oh. This can't be happening to well, me. Well, up for the old. On with What's the, the new. Oh, this is so humiliating. Here you go, Mel. Uh, the baby's name is Mel? Well, how do you... Hey, who are you? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm the uh, baby's uh, mother. So you'll be wanting to take little Mel back. No, 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 no. You can keep him as long as you want. I just wanted to bring Mel his uh, favorite toy. Oh, baby's first steps! Uh, Arthur, quick, get the camera! You don't say thanks or anything, Mel. <laughs> hey, hey, Arthur, baby learned how to lock the door. With all due respect, sir, I don't think your holographic belts are ready for field use. I mean, look at me. I'm stuck on Dingo. As long as the tick thinks mental's a baby, he'll fight with the rage of ten mothers. Babies! <laughs> They're here gonna find two can play the baby game. <laughs> Position. Uh, baby, Mel, honey, what you doing in there? Hang on, Daddy will be right back. Butt out, Moth Man. <laughs> Why say you? Please take care of my baby Julius. Arthur, look! Another baby! What are the odds? <laughs> Ma, me, miss, miss, mister. Mr. Meh, Mr. Meh, Mr. Mr. Mum, Mr. 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 Menthol! Close enough. We're double daddies now. No, you do not Hey, Mel, look, you got a brand new brother. Boys, boys. Uh, looks like my two little men have a lesson to learn. Mel, Julius. We all, at one time or another, want stuff. But there's only so much stuff to go around in this world, so sometimes two people, well, they want the same stuff. That's when two people have to do something we call sharing. Hey! I want to give me that wisdom! Pick a language and use it! It started with um, M, and, uh, M, yes. Um, hey, hey, don't you walk me. away when I'm talking to you, young man. I am not a young man. I am 41 years of age, and I'm tired of being treated like a baby. Now, you will treat me like a super villain. Man, they grow up so fast. Dick, it's Mr. Mental. Behold, the power of the mind made flesh! <laughs> well, 
that explains a few things. <laughs> Unappealing. <laughs> ah, now there's a thought. Nothing can stand between me and the brute force of my glorious mind! <laughs> oh, <man>. Dingo! Dingo! Arthur, it's time to cut the cord! What? <laughs> Cut the cord! Right! Mental, I can forgive you for trying to take over the world, but not for stealing my heart. <laughs> Days from now, Arthur and I will look around our empty apartment and wonder, where's baby? Where's our little bundle of joy? And he'll be in prison! How could you do this to us? You've made a mockery of everything this family stands for! Dick. Get a grip. He's Mr. Mental. He wasn't really a baby. Everybody was a baby once, Arthur. Oh, sure, maybe not today or, or even yesterday. But once, babies, chum. Tiny, dimpled, fleshy little mirrors of our usness that we parents hurl into the future like leathery footballs of hope. And you gotta get a good spiral on that baby, or Eve will make an interception! Ready? Break! One, three, thirteen, twenty-six, break! Go deep, Arthur! Go deeper! 11-year-old Beth Fury writes, Dear Tick, why do parents always tell us what to do but never ask how we feel? Grown-ups, Beth Fury, are a strange breed. Their brains weigh close to three pounds. And that's not three pounds of cheery delight, no. That's three pounds of day job and time clockery. Three pounds of the terror and anguish that is the permanent emergency of child rearing. Think how they feel. <laughs> 